Hey guys, Rob D'Alessio, Strategic Wealth Designers. On this week's episode of A Taste of Retirement, we're gonna make the cult classic from Taco Bell, the chili cheese burrito, one of my all-time favorites. Come on, let me show you how we do it. So the ingredients that we have are ground chuck. I love ground chuck, it's my favorite. And I use an 80-20, and again, some people might, you could use more lean if you wanted to, you could use more fat, but I wouldn't. You'd really have to drain that fat out. Uh, we're gonna have eight ounces of a sharp cheddar cheese. This is 16 ounces of refried beans, and there's a variety of refried beans. Uh, I tend to use the restaurant style, and I really won't use all of it, just because, uh, for lack of a better term, it gets a little too beany. Uh, six ounces of tomato paste, and then we need uh, two cups of water, four tablespoons of chili powder. I use Maxine chili powder. You could use a different brand if you're so inclined. Two teaspoons of cayenne pepper, two teaspoons of kosher salt. The hot sauce is just for taste later. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the stove on, and then we're gonna start to brown that meat. And while that meat's getting warmed up, we're gonna go ahead and chop our onion. And you really want as fine of a, of a dice as you can. And this is basically just a half of a really large onion. You could obviously use one small onion. I tend to use the yellow onions, or what they call Spanish onions, because uh, they're just a little bit sweeter in my take, in my preference. The chili cheese burrito, it used to actually be called the Cholito at Taco Bell. And my wife and I have been Taco Bell fans our whole lives. And so we used to eat the chili cheese burrito, or like I said, the Cholito all the time. Difference is then they got rid of it and then they brought it back, but they didn't tell anybody about that. And so now it is called the chili cheese burrito, but you're not gonna find it on their menu. Very rarely is it even on the menu. You just have to ask for it at Taco Bell. The difference is it's a really big family favorite and once, we, once I find something that my family really, really likes, I try to make it myself. And I feel like I've done a good job of coming up with that. You know, there's always all kinds of things that go on uh, at restaurants or whatever that you don't know about, that you think you know about. And for example, in the financial industry, there's two standards that advice is given. There's a fiduciary standard and there's a suitability standard. And so many of the big brokerage houses, they go with what's called the suitability standard. And what that means for you is that the advice they give you or the investments that they're offering you, they just have to be suitable for you, not necessarily the best thing. And so what that means is, I mean really as people, pretty much you can justify anything as being suitable for somebody. But as a fiduciary, and we're a fiduciary firm and I am a fiduciary advisor, we have to do what's best for you as the client even if it's not what's best for us. And we have to prove that. So that means legally, morally, and ethically, we have to do what's best for the client. So next time you're talking to your advisor, you ought to ask what standard you are. And if you don't get fiduciary standard, then you know that you're with the suitability standard. And at this point, all we want to do is get the meat brown and the onions translucent. And you want to use a really big pan. And the reason why is because this actually makes quite a bit. So sometimes, you know, when we offer you these, the, the quantity of ingredients, you can adjust it to your preference, one, but two, with how many people you're cooking for. You know, if you're just cooking for two people, maybe it's a little too much. If you're cooking for six or more, like I always am, well, then it's probably the right amount. So as you can see, the meat is browned, the onions are translucent. Now it's time to go ahead and make basically the fillings of our burrito. So the first thing we're gonna add is the four tablespoons of the chili powder, the two tablespoons of the cayenne pepper, and the two tablespoons of kosher salt. And don't worry, I know it seems like a lot, but it makes a lot. We're just gonna brown that. It 
smells amazing. Make sure you get everything evenly covered throughout. And again, like I've said before, if, it, if, if you can't handle spice, maybe you lower the cayenne pepper. If you like more spice, you add more cayenne pepper or you add something else that might give it more heat. So that's mixed up. Now we're gonna take the two cups of water, and this might steam up a little bit. And get that going. Now we're gonna make what's called a slurry. And so basically, you've heard people before talk about ruse, and you've heard people talk about slur uh, slurries maybe. And, and what a slurry is, is cornstarch and cold water. So I've got two tablespoons of cornstarch. We're gonna mix that with this water, and then we're gonna mix it up. And what that's gonna help to do is thicken this mixture we have over here. And then you just pour that right in and give it a stir. And there's really no flavor to that at all. It's literally just a thickening agent. It's already starting to thicken up. It's amazing. You can actually see it doing that. So now we're going to add the tomato paste. Lower this heat down a little bit. And we're gonna add the refried beans. And like I said, this was a 16 ounce can of refried beans. I'm probably gonna use a little over half of it, maybe three quarters of it, so maybe like 12 ounces. If they sold a smaller can, I would use that, but they don't. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that those beans get really incorporated all the way throughout the pan. And obviously the beans were a little bit cold so it brings the, the temperature down right away. But you just want to keep going until it's thoroughly mixed. My wife and I, when we were much younger, we used to go, like in high school, we used to go to Taco Bell all the time. And chili cheese burritos, or, or chilitos as they were called back then, um, were our favorite. So we, then they got rid of them for a while. And so at that point it was a matter of coming up with something that tasted very, very similar. And so. We, Taco Bell has since brought it back as the chili cheese burrito, but not every Taco Bell has it. So it's a matter of, you know, we had to fulfill something that, you know, was a nostalgic taste for us. And so we came up with this, and my children love it, and of course we love it. And it's a very simple dish to make. The last thing we're gonna do is add in the cheddar cheese, and we used eight ounces of a sharp cheddar cheese. I just like the bite that a sharp cheddar gives. And, but you don't want to put it all in at one time. You want to sprinkle it a little bit in as batches. And then just stir that in. And let that melt, melt nicely. Of course you can shred it yourself if you'd like, but sometimes we like to keep things a little bit more simple. Throw in a second group. I'll be interested to know if, if some of you go to Taco Bell and you go to order a chili cheese burrito and you make this, which one you like better. You can actually let us know. You can email us at info at swdgroup.com and tell me which one's better. So you can see the pan's looking pretty happy. That mixture looks delicious. It smells amazing. We'll add this last batch in, stir it in. And then what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes. And it'll reduce a little bit, but it'll let that cheese and those refried beans really incorporate throughout the pan. And then we'll come up and put a bow on it. So it's been 10 minutes. 
We've mixed, we've got our mixture done. It's reduced down. You obviously we stirred so it didn't stick to the bottom of the pan and we're gonna go ahead and make the burritos. And I'm so excited. Uh, like I said, it's just one of our old time favorites from when we were young and it's absolutely delicious. So just mix it up a little bit more. We take the tortillas and we microwave them for 30 seconds. You could do more, you can wrap them in paper towels and put them in the oven and all these other things. 30 seconds in the microwave, all you need. And then I've got some more cheese here as a garnish. What we do is you just lay the tortilla out, take your mixture, and remember we're going to wrap this up like a burrito so you don't want to overstuff it or it's going to come out all over the place. That there. And then like I said, I like to do a little bit more cheese on top. Who doesn't love cheese? Uh, but you can do all kinds of things. You can do jalapenos, you can do bacon, you could do green chilies, whatever you want. And wrap over, wrap over, wrap over. And this one I'm going to go ahead and cut. And there you have it. My wife and I's longtime favorite, the chili cheese burrito from Taco Bell. If you'd like that recipe or any of our other previous recipes, email us at info at swdgroup.com. I'm Rob D'Alessio and that's a taste of retirement.